Hey there all you DIYers today. Hey, you can tell we're on top of the RV and I got a little something we're adding to the RV this time to help cool it off. So stay tuned, let's get started. All right, so like I said, we're putting some vent covers on. Right here we go. Roof vent cover by Camco. And we're putting these on top of the vents for each one of the bathrooms. I have two bathrooms in here, like I've said before. And these are pretty simple installs. Um, let me show you kind of what we got going on here. All right, so what we did is I set the uh, cover over it. Oops, got to go this way because that's the front. Set it over there where the vent cover was down. Lined it up kind of where I wanted it. You see a couple little marks that I had on there on the roof. I just used a marker to mark them. Pulled these away. Took the brackets. Lined them up where that mark was, where that marker mark is right there. Moved them in and right there. I drilled a small hole for these bolts to go in. So those bolts go in there. Fasten those all the way around so these will be sticking up. Then these bolts go up through there and then attach onto the vent cover. So I will put these on here. I'll put the brackets on, show you those. Then I'll put the top on and show you that. Hey, I just want to let you guys know a little tip here. Um, as you all know, I'm not a little guy and uh, my RV here is not a walkable roof. So I was a little nervous about getting up here on top. Somebody said, hey, just lay down a piece of plywood. It'll be fine. So actually what I did is I got some half inch plywood here and I tell you what, worked out absolutely perfect. Here we go, check it out. There's the plywood I have here. Like I said, it's not super thick, but I tell you what, it does a huge help on getting up on here. I'm not worried about, you know, making marks on the roof or anything like that. This worked out perfect. Just a little tip for you guys out there. Hopefully that helps out. And hey, if this helps you out, go down there like this video, subscribe to it, and hopefully maybe I can give you some more tips to help you out. Back to the show. All right, there we go. We got all the brackets put on, as you can see. The lock washers, washers and everything on the inside. And those little nuts there are nine millimeter, and then the ones on the outside are seven sixteenths. I use a little Phillips screwdriver and of course my drill right there to attach these so it doesn't take much of course a marker but uh, let me get these get the uh, top set on here just a matter of bringing this back across well I got to go drop the drop the vent down a little bit but then I can put the top back on all right so hopefully should be able to just Drop this back on here, just like that. Those are on that side. Oh, I gotta move that one there on the back out. That one over there on the front's almost there. So I will get those lined up. It's hard to hold the phone and do this all at one time. So let me get those lined up and I'll show you when we're all done. All right, so we have everything all put on there. There we are, everything's all tightened down. Testing her out, we ran the the vent up, turn the motor on, everything worked out great. I'll tell you what, this is gonna work out great um, if you're out camping kind of in muggy days or actually for storage. Um, there's, a, there's a screen on the inside that still keeps everything kind of sealed up. So it sure does help out a little bit. I'm sure they can probably get some little bugs on the inside come around there, but um, this will sure help out, kind of keep everything cool inside the camper. But hey, Hopefully this will help you guys out when getting something like this installed. And hey, always like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. See you later.